in this video we will discuss the problem previous number in one swap so the problem says that you have been uh, given a non negative number n in the form of a string so this number is given in form of a string and the task is to apply at most one swap operation so you can do at most one swap on the number n so that the result is just a previous number possible right so the result has to be the previous number and leading zeros are not allowed in the result right so let's take this example if i give you 1 2 4 3 and 5 so let's quickly have a look at this particular example so if i give you 1 2 4 3 and 5 so what will be the previous number right the previous number is going to be nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 right so the previous number is going to be nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 right because if you will see this part if you will see this part right 1 2 uh, like if you will consider this part only 4 3 5 right so if you add 4 3 5 so the previous number according to the combinations if you add this thing 4 3 5 the previous number would simply be nothing but 3 4 5 right you can relate to this part right so that is what you have to do you have to make the previous number you have to go to the previous number directly using one swap so what you will do in this turn is you will take the numbers right you will take these this number and you will take this number right and you will swap both of them right you will swap 3 and 4 so that the number becomes 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this is what you have to do in this particular question uh, another thing like another case could be let's say if you had 1 2 3 4 5 right so you have to move to the previous number always just the, just the previous number so if you will consider this uh, problem the let's say 1 2 3 4 5 so in this case it is the smallest number possible right it is the smallest number possible because 1 2 3 4 5 there is going to be nothing lesser than 1 2 3 4 5 because all the digits of this particular number are arranged in lexicographical order or in ascending order so you cannot have uh, anything lesser than uh, 1 2 3 4 5 right so that's why the answer would be minus 1 for this case now this case using this kind of a case like if i give you something like let's say 6 7 8 so for this case also there cannot be a previous number using these digits right because 6 7 8 is the lowest number using the digit 6 7 8 because they are uh, so they are present in the ascending order of their uh, occurrences right so that's why what i can say is that i need to check i need to check that if the particular number right you, you can see this part right if the particular number is having the digits in ascending order in that case i will not be able to do the swapping part and i have to return a minus one because they, in that case there is no gonna be no previous number present so that's why what i can do is i can let's say start an i variable right i can start a loop from the back i can start my i from here right and i can check for the i plus one -th variable right if my uh, s of i right i can check always that if there is any s of i such that it is greater than s of i plus one if there is no s of i right i will start from uh this thing that is i is equal to n minus two that is the size minus two size of the number uh, string minus two i'll start from this place i is equal to n minus two and i'll check if there is an i such that it is greater than i plus one if there is an s of i such that it is greater than s of i plus one if there is no s of i such that it is greater than s of i plus one in that case i'll return the minus one answer why because you can see this part right first of all i will be here right so four is four greater than uh, five no it's not so that's why i'll keep moving back so is three greater than four no it's not so i'll keep uh, moving right then i'll check is two greater than three no it's not is one greater than two no it's not so that's why it means that the number is present in ascending order right and if the number is present in ascending order so what i have to do is i have to simply return the minus one part right now let's check out uh, for this case like a one two four three five right if this is the case then what i have to do is i have to find that particular i have to find the first index that i will be reversing right i have to find the index from the back that is increasing corresponding to the adjacent index right so i'll start from here again right i'll start from i is equal to n minus 2 right i'll start from the back and uh, can i have a smaller number for this one yes i can have because there is an s of i says that it is greater than s of i plus 1 if i have let's say 3 2 1 right so the smaller number will be 3 1 2 right because this is number is not just an ascending number right it is kind of distorted right it is not purely ascending right so in those cases my answer will be existing my previous number would be existing right notice that in the end i have i have to also check for the case of trailing zeros right for zeros at the starting right so what i will be doing is like if you give me this number right so i'll start my i from here i is equal to nothing but n minus 2 size of string minus 2 so i'll start from here is 3 greater than 5 no it's not right so that's why what i'll do is i'll keep moving right i'll keep moving now i move to this particular index right when i move to this index so i can see that 4 is greater than 3 right and the moment i see this thing i the moment i see this thing that my 4 is going to be greater than 3 so that means that this is going to be my first index right so this is going to be nothing but my index 1 that i'll be swapping right after this you will say that how to find the index 2 right so you can easily find the index 2 right 
can i uh, can i have this thing right i i can say that what will you do? will you uh, find the index to here or here right that's the case so if you do something like this right let's say you find uh, an index from here right or if you do this part right so let's say if you add one two four three five right and what you do is let's say you pick this two and you'll pick this four and you swap them so this is one four two three eight, like one four uh, and two three two right so that's this is not the case that you wanted right so basically what you want is let's say let's take another example for this case let's say if i had something like uh here i had something like let's say i had uh something like again uh like three and five right if i have this case so if i have this four here right so i want the just the previous number right i want one two then three four and five right this is something that i expect from this particular thing right i can see that what i what i want from this case is you will be able to observe that I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So that's why, that's why what I'll do is, I'll start from the, uh, in, I'll have another loop to find the index 2, right? So what I'm going to do is for finding, uh, let's say I've found this index 1, right? Once I've found this index 1, so what I will be doing is, what I'll be simply doing is, I'll start my iteration, right? I'll start my iteration from the i plus 1th index. So again, I'll start my i from i plus 1th, uh, like index plus 1th index, right? index plus one and i is going to be lesser than n and what i will do is i'll check i'll check if there is uh if there is an index uh if there is a condition says that s of i is going to be uh something like s of i is going to be lesser than s of index right index one in that case i'll store it simply right if it is the first occurrence then i'll store it definitely otherwise what i have to uh, otherwise what i should be doing is if there are several of the numbers right if there are several of the numbers in that case i have to take care right in that case if there are several of the numbers so i have to check if there is like if i if i come to the first part right if i come to the first part and if i say, see that okay this particular uh this four is greater than this three right so i can say that definitely this is going to be my index number two right this is going to be the index number two but i want just the previous number right i want just the previous number right so let's say if i had a six here right let's say i had a six here right so in that case i just want a previous number right so if the number is like one two and six three and five you can see this part right so i want just the previous number and just the previous number is not going uh if it is just the previous number right so i cannot have it like this i cannot have it like one two three six and five right i, I cannot swap this three and six right i cannot do that because uh the previous just the previous number will not be this but just the previous number or of, of one two uh, six three five notice that these three last digit just the previous number is going to just the previous number is going to be one two five three and six right so this part so basically you were required not to swap this three and six but you were required to swap this uh six and five right so that's the thing that's the thing that if it if you are seeing a particular index from the index plus one if you start your iteration i from i index plus one and you go until the end so if you find a particular index right if you find that okay it, there is a particular index i says so that it is going to be lesser it is going to be lesser than the s of i right uh s of index right this part if this is the index index one right if this is the index if this particular ith uh, number is lesser right so you'll say that okay index 2 in the index 2 i'll store the position of this particular 3 right i'll store it but do, should i stop no i should be checking once again right i should be checking that if if it happens that i let's suppose that my i reaches to this 5 right let's suppose that i reaches to this 5 so if my i reaches to, to this 5 so what i want is that i need to check that is my s of index like is 6 greater than 5 yes it is so in this case i have already initialized my uh, val value as this right so i'll need to check that in the index in this particular index the currently three is stored so is there any element that is greater than three right is there any particular element uh, is the current digit that i have is it greater than the, uh, the digit that i have stored because if it is then that is what something i have to store because i have to remove i have to move to just the previous number right because i don't want this part right i don't want one two three six and five right this is not the just previous number right this is not the immediate previous number immediate immediate previous number is going to be one two and then it's going to be what five three and six right so that's that's what i have to do i have to move the just immediate number so that's why what i'll do is i'll check that if is the index two storing a number is there any is the current digit if it is greater if it is greater if, is five greater than three yes so instead of this three i'll store five so that i can easily i can peacefully swap nothing but five and six so that i can get the just previous number right so this is the concept for this particular problem and also you have to check the condition for trailing uh for the starting zeros right Let's try and quickly write the code for this particular problem and see what we will be doing in this particular problem, right? So what I'll be having is I'll be having let's say int n n is equal to nothing but the size of the string, right? And I'll also be having a uh, index one, right? Uh, let's say int uh, index one, uh, like let's say i n d one, 
index one is going to be initialized to minus one. Let's say if there is no index, in that case, we'll be returning minus one, right? So what I'll do is, I'll, as I said, that I'll be starting from i is equal to n minus two, right? From the second last uh, digit, I'll be starting and i is greater or equal to zero. And what I'll do is, I'll do i minus minus. Why I'm doing this? Because I'm checking for i and i plus one, right? So if there is uh, going to be any s of i, so that it is greater than s of i plus one, right? If there is any i, s of i that is greater than s of i plus one. So in that case, that is going to be the immediate in index that I need to change, right? And I'll say that, ind1 is equal to nothing but i right as i told you and simply i'll break from this particular loop now why am i am i gonna do this part because as i told you like if the number is let's say what this number one two four three five right so if the number let's say is one two four three five right so i need to find this particular number right i need to find this particular i for this i the i plus one is, is smaller right so that's what i need to find right after this index one i found right so i need to uh, search for the index two as well but before that i need to see if my index number one is equal equal to minus one right if the index one is minus one then i'll simply return the string that is nothing but minus one right i'll simply return the minus one value because in that case the uh, answer will not be possible right after this part what i'll have is i'll have int index two as well right so i'll have index two as well right index two will be marked as minus one as well because we don't know whether an index two might exist or not right so what I will be doing in this part is I'll be starting my i as I told you right I'll, I will require the just the previous number right so I'll say that i starts from nothing but ind1 plus uh, 1 that is index number 1 plus 1 and i is going to be lesser than n right so this is what I will do after this part is done so I'll increment every time my i right and what I will do is I'll check that if there is a s of i right if there is a s of i says that it is lesser than s of uh, i index ind plus 1 right if there is any ith index such that it is lesser than uh, ind uh, index 1 right if it is such that if it if this is the case like if this is the case right as i told you that if this is the case if let's say the problem is something like this if i had let's say 1 2 then 6 3 and 5 right so if there if this is index 1 right if it this is index 1 and this is the current i so it's smaller so that that means that it can be one of my candidates right I, definitely i can have some larger value compared to it I'll I'll check for the larger, but first of all, if I'm getting it for the first time, right? So if my index uh, two is initially marked as minus one, right? If it is marked as minus one, then I'll say that index two is going to be nothing but i, right? But what if this is the case, right? If this is the case, if I come to the number, right? If let's say uh, I have stored in the uh, index two, I have stored this value, right? Index two is storing the index of this particular three. But what if I uh, what if my i moves to this? What if my i moves to five? If my i moves to five, right? So I can see that six is greater than five. And I want just the previous number, right? As I told you. So I will try to swap these values, right? 1, 2, 5, and 3 and 6, right? I will try to generate this particular number, 5, 3, 6, right? Because if I will swap uh, like this 1, 2, 3, 6, and 5, so it's not going to give me just the previous number, right? I want ju just the previous number, just previous number, right? Just the previous number. So that's why I'll do this, right? So I'll I'll keep on checking with the index 2, right? Whichever value index 2 is storing, I'll keep on checking that if there is index 1, if index 1 is greater than uh, i, if index 1 is greater than i, and uh, the ith element is greater than, if the element, if uh, I'll say this part, I'll write this part once again, that if s of index 1, if s of index 1 is greater than s of i, right? If this is the case, then in that case, it can be one of my candidates. And after I've initialized it, so I'll check that if s of i, is greater than s of index 2 if this is the case then i'll consider it as the candidate right so that's what i'm gonna do so basically what i'll do here is that in the else if part in the else if part i'll say that if s of i if my s of i is gonna be greater than s of ind2 right if this is gonna be the case so in that case i'll say that uh, my index 2 is going to be nothing but i right this is when i'll i can initialize it now after this particular loop is over so i can simply say that i'll be swapping these two indexes that is s of uh, what uh, index one and s of uh, index two these uh, the digits at these two particular indexes i'll swap them right and after swap them so i need to also check that if there are any starting zeros so if my s of zero right if the first uh, first most character if it's equal equal to zero right if the first character is equal to zero so let's say i swap the number and the first character is equal equal to zero see in that case i also need to return the minus one answer right because it's not a valid answer right as i told you initially right so this is what i will be doing now after that uh, after this part is done so in the end i can say that i can simply return the string is let's try and quickly compile this particular code and see if it works on the samples or not so you can see that it is working on the samples let's quickly submit this code as well so you can see that the problem got uh, accepted so this is how you do it uh, so thanks a lot for watching this particular video